Hello and welcome to another episode of Building with Thor. I am Thor Hammerhand and today we are going to be learning how to build this beautiful little trading ship. It's uh, not very large, really easy to build, especially with the instructions that I will give you shortly. You can see that it will work absolutely fine in sort of like an ancient uh, Greek sort of build. It's certainly absolutely perfect for uh, medieval builds and things like that as well you could put this basically anywhere in your world and probably takes 20 minutes max to build as long as you have all of the stuff with you and the wherewithal and the know-how all of which you shall be given in spades anyway let's get on to a testing world and we will learn how to build this so here we are out in the middle of the ocean first thing we need to do is pull up uh, a pillar of any sort obviously we can't put down blocks straight into the you can see we can't put anything straight into the water that'd be great let's get rid of this for now else it'll be bugging me there we go let's go back up here we are so first thing we're going to need to do is work out which direction we want it in so let's let's face it over there so let's put down a three by three of oak planks and then we'll come out one and two this way and put in a line of dark oak and then we'll come out two this way and then put in a line of dark oak and that is so the oak is three by seven with dark oak either end right so this is the back now come out two on each and then two out here we'll have an upside down stairs with a slab on it and then just a slab coming off that end now for the front we're going to put a three by three of oak with two coming off here with two two more oak and then we're going to have a slab on the top and a slab here as well now after that just go all the way over everything one more time uh, so in fact we'll do this now let's just let's just stick all of these down so you can see what I mean it's just a just put a plank on every block that you've got down now basically same block uh, same plank as you had below it let's get out here so remembering that this is the back oh get off get off um, so on the back side now put in a upside down dark oak and then one two three more stairs and then a corner stairs here so let's do the same on this side so you've got your dark oak upside down and then one two three upside down normally and then turn it there and then you'll have an upside down stairs facing this way off all the rest now take upside down stairs all the way over to the other oak one more then turn it so you've got a corner of the normal oak and then put on a half slab on this side here we're going to just put in another half oh yeah another half slab here we're going to put in a block and then a half slab there and then we're going to put in what have we got yes it's 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 wrong it's wrong don't listen to me put in a block and then a half slab and then a block then a half slab and then put in a block and then a half slab that's it that's this edge here god don't listen to me too much i sound like i know what i'm talking about now this side we're going to do exactly the same so we've got upside down stairs until we come to this point upside down stairs here we'll turn it here so that we've got a normal uh, oak but corner stair and then on top of that we've got yet another slab this is working out fine things are looking good from here now we want to find out where this little uh, dark block is here and we want to have a gap of two and then put uh, a plank uh, an oak wood plank there do the same on the other side so we've got a gap of two put a plank there do that on the other side and on here as well 
Now we're going to take dark oak wood stairs and put one, two, three, four of them with a uh, stair going that way. There we go. Yeah, that's lovely. Do the same on the other side again. One, two, three, four upside down with a stair going that way. And then we're going to get, I haven't got them on my hotbar. Let's go Husha Labs. No, not acacia. Fun. <laughs> Absolutely not acacia. One, two, three slabs, like so. That gives you a railing and a, a little sort of way onto the boat. So do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four. Face a stair this way. One, two, three, four. Place a stair that away. And then one, two, three slabs in the middle. Lovely. Remember that this is our back. And that's our front. Our front is going to be more pointy. That's how you can remember when you're when you're building it. So, on the back of here, put in a fence. This is going to start making the window for the little cabin. And yes, it does have a cabin. And then an upside down stairs coming off here. For everybody now watching this, uh, you're probably already on the 1.12. Uh, I think it is going to be. So 1.12 is going to connect that. So don't worry about it. So upside down stairs, come off there. Put a block on them three. And then upside down and upside down there. And that's where it's now going to come up straight. Don't worry about anything more over there for now. On the front, on this level, we're going to have an upside down stairs. And then we're going to corner that. So upside down. And then put a corner on it. Then we're going to come put a, a plank right there and a plank right here. And then we're going to do the same again upside down and corner. And that will give us the nice rounded shape of the front of this hull as it comes up. It's upside down and round. Let's go one here and now we're going to just carry on. So you can notice that down there, you can see it coming up. It's coming up by a half. A slab each time so put a full slab uh, full plank on there and then a slab coming off that great we've got yet another another one done um, right coming off here then as we're going to start coming into the cabin for the next level put in a couple of stairs and then come all the way around with planks like so and that'll be fine for that on this side, as we're going to finish off, uh, do this kind of level by level. In fact, if we're doing it level by level, we might as well pump two, three, four spruce fences. That'll pull us to here, to the same over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So they're going on all of the upside down stairs, basically, all the way along. Now, this side. We're going to leave two, and then we're going to put two. So leave two, come across by two half slabs, come in, and then we're going to overhang by one when it comes to this point. So let's do that from the other side. So we've got one, overhang it, come in, go to the end, then overhang it, and then come across by one there. Now. We're going to come across uh, one more. So we're going to put three down like so. Then we're going to come across one more. So we put three down like that. That is basically the front of the ship done now. Fantastic work. Well done, everybody. Fantastic job. Now, on this side, we're going to finish off uh, the back here. So we're going to put in... You look where the little dark oak is there. Just beyond that, we'll put in a stair. And then coming off the side of these two uh, fences, we'll put in slabs. Let's take those slabs at that level right to the back now. And then in the, in the middle here, we'll put in a slab because we'll need somewhere to stick our steering wheel. <laughs> that's what it's called, isn't it? That's what it would be called if it was a car, maybe. But uh, that's where we're going to put the, the, the big wheel thingy. And then we're going to come around on the top here. So this is the top deck. Let's go 
all the way around here on all of our full blocks. I think they're all full blocks. Yeah, all of the full blocks we're going to stick a, a dark oak fence and then we're going to come back by one and then stick one on all of these as well. And that will just stop your captain getting flung off the back of the ship in choppy weather. Gives him somewhere to strap himself if things are getting a little bit a little bit too hairy up on the on the wild seas. Let's come in here now. This is going to be the cabin. So let's take down this block here. We're going to come all the way back to this point. Now these two are going to leave you some holes. That's not what you want. You don't want holes. So let's go into a spruce of wood. We'll need a spruce wood uh, stairs and you can use slabs or uh, let's just use the plank here and I don't think we'll need any more of those fences. So on this side we're going to put in a chair, on this side we're going to put in a table and that's that's fine there. We'll, we'll, let's let's uh, just while we're in here upside down stairs to cover up these dark oak because they're, they're a little too harsh the spruce and the oak go nicely together, but not so much the dark oak. Unless it's used, as I'm using it here, as an accent, or not an accent, as a, as a contrast. So there we go. I think now we're pretty much done, apart from the stales, and we'll, then we'll put on all of the extra little uh, appendages. But you can see now we have a ship sales to do. Okay, it's time to uh, pay attention because this is probably the most tricky part of the build. It's the sails. Let's take up now um, the main mast from here in the in the very center of where the the entrance is, sort of the gangway thing. We'll come up one, two, three, four, five. Off that fifth one, we're going to come out one, two, three, four, five. And we'll do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to go up by eight. So another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these dark oak. And then come across another one, two, three, four, five. Get out of here. Get out of town. One, two, three, four, five on the other side. Now, depending on whether you want to put a flag on this ship, which I don't think it's necessary, it's not a warship or anything, is it? You could put a flag on there, but I just like an extra little little bit here, just one more on the top. We're going to come out and do the sails now. So, from the bottom, it's probably easiest. You can do this fairly nicely in survival as well, jumping yourself up. So, don't don't be worried about it. Come one, two, three. And then on the fourth one, because uh, I've put a, a little design on this, you can now put on any design that you like, of course. So if you don't want to put the green on there, you just want white, then just use white. So one, two, three, and then four here. And then we're going to come up and out. So we're coming in one here. We're going to come across. And then we're going to put in one, two of the greens there. And then we're going to come across here two of the greens and then one two here and then we're going to come out by one with the white in the middle this is just for the uh, the design that I've done and it looks like now it's catching in the wind and blowing out this way so instead of being here the sail is pulled back now on the next level we're going to use this come across by two, put the white on there, might as well come across by two here and we're also going to have two more at the back there so this makes like a little square so let's put the two on there. Now we're going to uh, come up and <coughs> maybe I'll, I, I think I'll make the this a little bit of an easier design. Let's come up so this is going up one, two, three, four, five. So you got the bottom one. Two, three, four, five. We'll take our white up to here. And then in these middle ones, we're going to put in one, two, three. One, two, three. 
and then we're back on this bottom area here. So it's easy to come behind here and put in a, a square there. Come on the back here and put in a square here. Look down to the bottom. Any time when you're doing this, once you've got that bottom bit done, you're absolutely fine. You can see where you're going. So we're coming across two here, two here. Got another white on the top. And that makes that little shape. And then remember from the bottom there, we've got one, two, three, and then four. And then one, two, three, and then four. Lovely. So, oh, nearly lovely just like the bottom we're going to put it so it's just coming over a little way there so lovely well done you have done what is a fantastic thing I would say that if you wanted to go back and uh, put in some sort of design now would be the time so you can put in something like this like a little cross design what whatever but there we go now is well that is basically the ship done it's just a uh, decoration from now on in let's uh let's get a trap door i say decoration i think this actually would come under structure still we're going to put in a couple of little coils of rope or something on this side that's how we want that to look and then one on the front and do the same on the other side they don't have to be in the same place so pull this one over one if you like and then put these two, I don't know if I put them on the back on the other side. Yeah, I did, but I mean, you could kind of move them over one if you wanted. Just, it looks a bit better if it's not all uniform, you know what I mean? On the front here, we'll have the same. Lovely. You can also put in two little hatches above the windows. Now we can just pretend that you can stick your hand through and close them off. But now we truly are done with the structure of the ship. Let's put some cargo in and uh, let's deck out this nice little uh, cabin. Now, as long as you're savvy, you can actually fit quite a lot on this little trading boat. Uh, so we'll start off on these stairs here. And again, space will be at a premium, we'll say, for, for this particular build. Whichever, if I picked up trap chests, well, it doesn't matter, does it? We've got trap chests. Let's go put a couple of them there. And then they're gonna be held down with straps. We're gonna be using signs for those straps. I think they look pretty good. And they'll just hold them in place. In your imagination, of course, because Let's face it, they're not going anywhere. The boat's not going anywhere, for God's sakes. So don't don't worry about that. Uh, let's put a couple more here. And then round on this side. So they're all strapped in. Things are looking good. Let's come up the front here. We'll put the main cargo. I like using crafting tables. Let's knock out these two here. And then come in and kind of put a a three by three sort of section of these here um, you don't have to put them exactly where I'm putting them but you know they look fairly good I suppose in any situation and let's put a couple in at the front here as well there we go so we've got them there let's strap this one in with a sign and then because this is like a heavier cargo let's uh, there we go it's always tricky to uh, put down things when you need to hold shift when you're in flight mode let's, uh, let's just come down here that's it so we're holding these ones back with the uh, with the trap doors let's get another one there let's, uh, let's put a couple oh well, why have I why have I even got them Let's put a couple of them there as well. Yeah, that's quite a quite a good stack. And then I don't know. Let's let's grab one of these. Make it look like uh, they're also being held in with something a bit more substantial there. Lovely. And then put in a couple of these down at the bottom. A couple of these here. Now, as you can tell from what I'm doing here. 
this is just meant to kind of look a little higgledy piggledy we'll say can I can I get down please there we go but there is sort of like a a reasoning behind it you you're basically making it look like some I don't care at all sailors have just come and as long as they're not going to fall off it doesn't need to look great you know so we got them there and then on the back here let's just put in another couple of stacks of chests we'll do them exactly how we've done those over there well there we are fully fully laden with so much cargo and round the back here we'll just put in a couple of home comforts just in case you wanted to kind of use this as a an early base or something you can put down a trapdoor here a trapdoor that you can put down a crafting bench there let's take a door out here as well put that on top of there so that we can still get out you'll notice that you couldn't put one here because of the uh, the signs let's put down now a couple of beds and we've got a chest at the back there uh, just to remind you of land you can put down a little picture with a potted plant is that I can't tell so close up it's hard to tell but there we go we now have what is a beautiful little trading boat I will say that there's one other thing that you could do if you want to go next level and that is um, I should have just put in spruce you can go back and just in a few places knock out some of the oak and replace it with uh, some spruce this is totally unnecessary you don't have to do this at all but if you see let's do one side here so that we can show it off correctly let's put in two of these here one there and let's put one up here so from the one side you can see just makes it look a little battered a little used that's a good thing you can do with minecraft is make things look like they are being used uh, let's go put a couple of these up here let's go behind there and stick one in but you see exactly what I mean now it looks like a, a it's been battered on the high seas and that is that but this video is at an end thank you very much for watching if you did get something out of this uh, be sure to press the like button it is much appreciated and if you want to see more videos a little like this then feel free to subscribe to my channel but for the meantime I will see you in the next video I'm back a little uh, sooner than expected just two things I forgot here now to stop things from actually spawning on your sails just use some carpet that's all you need to do there I don't need to stick it on every single one but you can see that there's ones at the back and there's ones at the top here up on the front that should be fine also to stop things from spawning pretty much on the whole ship you might just need one more where's the torches search items torches on these two closest here to the front put in a couple you might just need to stick one around the side here as well um, which would mean that you'd have to get rid of that but that's that's not an issue that would be all your lighting up done as long as you got one here and for the last thing because uh, after talking about the big old wheel let's let's stick one on there and now we are done uh, everything I said before about liking and subscribing please do that and I truly will now see you in the next video